Hi, this is Urban Wine Life, and this is Michael, your dreadlock connoisseur. And today we will be tasting the Gruna Vetlina. Yeah, I even had to look that up. The Gruna Vetlina. So, you know, Austrian, um, you know, they still have a little German. So there's a couple from in there. Um, I kind of really enjoyed this wine. I'm, I'm really surprised with how I kind of liked it. I thought I was going to get a kind of flat Chablis taste, but it wasn't really a Chablis taste. It was kind of in between a Gewürztraminer and a Sauvignon Blanc. So it had a lot of citrus aroma, kind of clean and crisp, very clear. So if you really look at the clarity of that, that is really a clear color. Not really yellowish like a lot of the Rieslings are, especially in the southern region. So that is a pretty nice color to it. So really, really good. Um, it also had a, almost a grapefruit nose to it. So you know when you get that kind of citrusy, almost um, acidic kind of uh, aroma to it. So it had a, almost a grapefruit. But when you actually taste it, you got a tangerine and kind of like a ripe lemon. So between those two, that's what you got, but with a crispness to it. Um, it said a little spice, but uh, I had a seasoned salmon with that. So I, I didn't really get a lot of spice out of that. I think if I would have went with a straight salad with a lot of, not a lot of acidic to it, I think I would have been okay. So it wasn't really heavy on spice, but more citrusy than fruit. So if he was expecting to get a lot of little fruity taste to this, this was more like the citrusy. So you, that there was lemons and limes and heavy citrus in that. Um, but a nice floral. So when you get in this aroma and you get the nose with that, and you got that, it's a little more of a, uh, a floral than grassy. You know, the grassy is more like a Sauvignon Blanc, so my expectation was really there with the Sauvignon Blanc feel, but I was pleasantly surprised. So here's another key that I think is really important. If you want to get these flavors, if you want to get these, the nose and, and aroma of all of that, really do not chill this to a point of um, and, and really below that 52 to 48 degrees don't get it below that because what it does that chill actually takes away that flavor then it does start getting a little flat but if you keep that closer to room temperature but slightly chilled you'll get a lot of that tangerine and ripe flavor you get a lot of that aroma in the nose you'll get a lot of that which i think is really really important when you're really trying to try especially a new rock uh, a new wine, you want to be able to say, what does it look like? What does it smell like? What does it taste like? Because if you don't, then you're going to uh, kind of have a prejudice to this wine and say, I don't like this wine. So now I am welcome different types, but I know I need to have it at a certain temperature so that flavor will actually come out and, you know, fruit forward and, and speak to me in a way that it's right there in front of me. So be careful with that. I, I found that out because I tried them twice. I tried it at first. I kind of chilled it, chilled it a little too long and that flavor uh, uh, almost dissipated and it was almost gone and it was almost flat. So I let this sit out and breathe and let the chillness get out of the wine and that flavor popped right back to me. So Really good, uh, Granura Vetlina, <laughs> so keep that in mind, thank you.